In today's two minute tip, I'll talk about how we save time and money by directly sowing seeds in our vegetable garden. I love gardening, but I don't enjoy the process of starting seeds indoors in small cells, up potting the plants when they reach a certain size, hardening them off over the course of several days, and then finally transplanting them into the garden. This is a whole lot of work, and I'd much rather plant seeds directly in the soil whenever possible. With our short growing season, we do need to start some summer crops like tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants indoors. If we waited until after our last frost to start them, they wouldn't have enough time to grow and produce a bountiful harvest. But I much prefer to directly sow almost everything else, including cool weather crops and many summer crops such as squash, cucumbers, and beans. The main reason I prefer direct sowing is that it's a lot less work. It's still about a week before our last frost, but we've already directly sown hundreds of plants including lettuce, spinach, arugula, radishes, sugar snap peas, bok choy, turnips, beets, rutabagas, carrots, parsnips, strawberry spinach, zucchini, kusha squash, and cucumbers. And soon we'll directly sow more winter squash, pole beans, and scarlet runner beans. Because these plants were directly sown, we didn't have to expand our grow room to accommodate them. We didn't have to up-pot them, harden them off, or transplant them. As a result, we saved ourselves many hours of work. Though we use cold frames and low tunnels to start some of these plants early, they can all be directly sown here in Zone 5 and in many other zones without protection. Just follow direct sowing instructions on seed packets and in books like Square Foot Gardening. Another reason I prefer direct sowing is that it saves money. By directly sowing as many plants as possible, we don't have to invest in more grow lights and shelves in the grow room. We don't have to buy pots, seed trays, and potting soil for them. We also save money on electricity, and because we usually get plenty of rain in the spring, we probably spend less on water too. And finally, in addition to saving time and money, Direct sowing allows me to get out in the garden early in the spring and get my hands in the soil, and there's nothing quite like that. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching this two-minute tip. I love gardening, but I don't enjoy the process of starting... Really? Come on, boy. Don't bite me. Let me go.